Good morning, folks. We've got some interesting articles for you today. We had a special video come out last night, and we hope to get another to you tonight. We'll be starting the show, as always, with our star, as it's a bit of a showdown between a solar snooze and the pistol under its pillow. No flaring or significant eruptive events at all, but plenty of sunspots and plasma filaments. The solar wind continued reaching calmer states over the last 24 hours, but that didn't help the intermittent geomagnetic instability stay away. This is quite the long-lasting reverberation. And the pistol under the pillow is in fact those filaments and sunspots. Several active region groups on the Earth facing half of our star, but again, all quiet. You can see they do indeed have significantly mature umbral magnetic field configurations, but each has found stability within themselves for the time being. So we go to Hubble where spiral is the story. Stars spiraling into the center of a region of the small Magellanic Cloud are feeding star formation and stellar ignition. This metal poor region is thought to behave like earlier universe galaxies that had tremendous starbursts of their own. Yesterday we saw this article putting the stamp on the centennial solar control of key climate parameters and today we've got another aiming more specifically at the East Asian monsoon. Interestingly, not only is the centennial cycle controlled by the sun, but the decadal variability is worked by Earth oscillations that we know from other publications to already be influenced by the sun, AMOC, El Nino, and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. Fantastic piece out of Yale up next. We usually discuss the global electric circuit in the atmosphere, but they are focused on one of the organic ones in the ground. Nanowire producing bacteria were found to spike in conductivity and electric current when exposed to light, with the most notable effects being an increase in breathing of electrons as they surge. Remember, not all light is in the visible range. Last night we answered some observer questions and once again listed places where you can find more information. Tonight, we hope to follow that up with a clear explanation of the sloshback tsunamis in the Earth tilt and some areas we anticipate being hit the hardest. We greatly appreciate your support. Links are below the video in the description box. Watch last night's video if you missed it and hopefully we'll get back to you in a few hours with the follow-up. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.